Hello, it's time for another episode of Diet Coke and Portal. Uh, I downloaded a bunch of Mebius made chambers. Uh, this one looks interesting. It is called Nomad. It has 3,227 ratings and scores a very impressive four and a half little bluish green circles. Uh, let's jump right in it. Whoa, chariots, chariots. For some reason, some of the audio was bleeding through in this universe. Don't know if you were catching the subtext there, but that computer cave is chariots, crazy. Chariots. So, Greg was right. As of now, we are canceling the genetic life form and disc operating system initiative. Boy, oh. that could have backfired. Anyway, this Earth is far too dangerous, and we are pulling you out. Right after this test. Of course. Okay, we have a pit of sewage. We have an angled plate we can fly out of to get back over here, but we're already here, so. Ah. We have the exit, and it is opened by placing a cube on this button. We have a cube. Well, isn't that uh, special? Oh, okay, we have a, whatever that is, it's a portable surface with an emancipation grill. Uh, it does not appear to be much we can do at the moment here, so fly across the sewage uh, and through that emancipation grill, so we, once we, if we do that again, we will lose all our portals. We have, uh, let's see, let's start with the cube. We have two catapults. That is... Ah! That gives us... And this catapult... Ah, I see, that's how we get over there. Oh, uh, we've got the orange there, so we put blue there. Wow. Once we fly across here, we have access to a light bridge that we can kind of put anywhere. That's odd. That angle plate facing down. I guess it's like we can fly out of there and land on that catapult. And why are there two? I guess that catapult. What goes to that catapult? Do they both throw you all the way? I don't. I should have stepped on the first one to see what it does. We come up here. And, and there's nothing up here. Ah, from up here. Okay, okay. From up here, we put the portal there with which we then Catapult through there. Catapult through there, come flying out here. Well, but if that is there... Well, now we are stuck over here. Once we put that there... We have no way to get over there. There does not appear to be any other place than up there that we can put the portal there. Other than over there, but then, then we lose it when we go flying through there. So how do we... Okay, so we don't. There's no way for us to now get over there and catapult through there. So that is not what that is for. That must be for the cube. Um, okay, so the cube... 
you will... We drop the cube. Tell you what, let me do a little test here. To see where we land. From this catapult. We land on that catapult that we fly through. What is the purpose of that? Okay, so we don't. Okay, what is what is this? Let's go back to here. Okay, so, because we have to run up here. And place the portal there from here, we cannot come flying out of there. And the only two things that need to get back up over there are us and the cube. So the cube comes flying out of there. So the cube See, that looks like that. Put a portal there. Boing, boing. But where would it be coming from, is the question. Okay, if this falls out of there, goes boing, boing, into there, and out there, that means we have to have a portal here. The cube comes out and it bounces, and while it's bouncing, we move, say in this example, we have the blue there and the orange there, we would then move the orange there. Okay, but where does it come out of, if we have a portal there and a portal there, we get the cube and we go stand in there and drop it in the hole. Then we're stuck in there. Because we have to be up here. We have to... Okay, where is that before... See, with a portal there and a portal there. Would that set up like a little, it goes through there, comes out there, and just keeps doing that? Why would we... It does that. Because we've got to be somewhere else to set all that up. And that gives us time to come running up here. Wow, this is... And then... Okay, once, once we get the cube over there... Which we will have to be up here to do... Then we just portal there, portal there, and we're over there. Okay. Is that... Is that what is that for? See, there's a portalable surface up there. I don't know what that's for. Now, how... Okay, once we get over here, we probably no longer need the cube. 
on that button. Where do we want the cube? We want to set this up so that the cube goes bouncing across. How do we set that up? We get a portal there. it's any co whoa, coincidence that this is right over that. If I bounce, if I 
bounce off of this into there. I throw a blue one there, and I come out over there. Meanwhile, the bridge is no longer here, and that falls. And that starts bouncing. But I don't want it to come back out here. I want it to come out of here. Yeah, because I can't run up there in the time it takes. Okay, I'm going to bounce over here, put the blue down. I come flying out of here. And I immediately turn and throw the orange there. And that will give me time to go up and put the orange there. clever, Medivus. I really like that. I don't believe I have ever seen a mechanism quite like that. In Portal. See, now why can't I think of this kind of stuff? I sit down with the map editor, and I make, I've made like one or two stupid little maps uh, that were just absolutely pointless. Oh, it's like I could just sit there and watch that all day. Okay, but I want to move the orange. Now I have the cube. Now I just blew there. Orange there. Drop down into here. Put the cube here. And I am out of here. Very, very good. If I had two thumbs, it would have it, I would give you a two thumbs up. And I believe that about wraps it up for this episode. I do have things to do today. So I will see you on our next episode.